This is the real Tom Rose, and this is a pretty unusual question. Um, they're saying take this, um, take this uh, binomial multiplied to the ninth power and expand it. And when they say expand it, they're saying like do the equivalent of a foil, but do it nine times. So you're going to get this super long polynomial when you're done. And when there's, what they're then saying is write that in descending order of degree, meaning what you're going to get is some coefficient times x to the ninth um, plus some coefficient times x to the eighth plus some coefficient times x to the seven, etc. In fact, I'm going to write the next one. Some coefficient times x to the sixth, some coefficient times x to the fifth. And they're saying, what is the fourth term? Well, when we count, you count from the left in order. So this is the first term second term, the third term, the fourth term. So the first thing you can see before we've even really done anything with uh, coefficients is the fourth term is um, degree six. It is an x to the sixth term. So that, that should allow you to get rid of um, anything that, that doesn't have x to the sixth. So let's get rid of the first and the fifth answer choices. Now, if you look at the, the coefficients and the remaining numbers, you can see that this is just going to be a nightmare if we actually try to if we try to actually expand all this out and isolate the x to the sixth term. That's going to be crazy. So let's try to use some logic to see if we can figure out what what qualities that number should have. And the first thing that I notice is that there's a some of these are negative and one of them is positive. So what I'm hoping, since there's only one positive one, I'm hoping that the x to the sixth term I can show that that will be a positive thing. And if it's positive, then we have the answer. It'll be this one. Um, so how can we figure out whether it's um, negative or positive? Well, one, one way you could do it, um, and this you might have, remember from your uh, factoring of polynomials in general days, is that if you, have a, if you have a positive and a negative term in your original binomial and you expand that, you're going to get alternating positive and negative terms. So the first one, the x to the ninth term, will just be nine of these. It'll be negative two x times negative two x times negative two x times negative two x times blah, 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 blah. Right? So negative two x to the ninth is what that term will be. So that'll be, um, I'm not even sure what two to the ninth is, but it's gonna definitely be some negative big number times x to the ninth. So we'll have negative something, I'll put a in there, right? Times x to the ninth. Well, since we know these are going to alternate, and I'm, I'm saying I just remember that, that when you have a negative term in your binomial, they tend to alternate. So it'll be negative A, this one will be some other number, but it'll be positive. You'll have negative C, then you'll have positive D. And as is to be suspected, yes, the fourth term is going to be positive, so the answer choice will be the second one.